Hello and welcome to Yummy Arts. My name is Chef Laurel Silverberg and we listen to you and today we are going to present the cake painting. And this is an adaptation of Donna Dewberry's one stroke method. Um, what we had to do is we'll go over all the materials. This looks a lot worse than it is. I did post some pictures on site and there were a lot of you that were very kind and made some very kind comments about this. Um, but the most common comments were, oh my God, you're an artist. In all honesty, no, I am not. Um, I have taken lessons and anybody taking lessons, you really actually can learn to do this. Very basic things. Um, today we're just going to be working with actually one, two, three paint brushes. That's it. This whole thing is painted with three cake brushes. Um, tools. We will go over that really quick. Um, tools, you'll need a water basin. Now, because this is one stroke, actually Donna Dewberry was kind enough to grant us permission to do this. Um, somebody had actually tried to break through with this several times and they couldn't. Um, the challenge was crossing over from an acrylic medium into a food medium. We had to try to get the layering in the paints, which if you try it with straight gels, and maybe some of you have, it doesn't work because the gels don't dry. Um, the other issue is airbrush colors, they evaporate too quick because there's a lot of alcohol in them. Um, so we find that the Americolor gels actually work the best. Their formulation works best for this. Um, what, else, what we need today is we're going to start out with a styrofoam dummy. We'll be covering that. Uh, now, and I'm going to give you some helpful hints today as well. Because actually this would be done in cake, and it normally always is done in cake, for those of you that teach, I thought what I would do is show you how I assemble my dummy cakes so they stand uh, durable during transportation. I'm going to demonstrate that today, and it's a little bit different technique. Um, you might get a kick out of it. My husband does, and if anybody is in the kitchen when you're doing this, they might be mortified. Um, but these things need to hold up under plain, uh, plain carrying or shipping, and, and it does really well. Um, the other thing is you're going to need a water basin, which actually this is from the one stroke. And if you look at this really carefully, inside you'll see some trowels in there, some raised ridges, and actually that's going to be used to clean the brush. And then you have this side, which is just used to dampen the brush. So this is clean water and this will become your dirty water. Now, paintbrush itself, we need to learn a few of the buzz terms on this. So as I'm talking to you, you know what I, what I, what I am actually doing. You have a ferrule. The ferrule is where the metal meets the brush. So that's the ferrule part of the brush. Then on this one, this is a flat brush. You're going to have the chiseled edge. Now the chiseled edge of a brush are the brush edges. That's the chiseled edge. You're going to hear me using that term quite a bit. Um, then you've got, this is a flat brush. This is called a scruffy brush. And this is only one of the brushes that actually does not get wet. Uh, we will be damping that to clean it. But what you're going to do with this is to pre-prep it, is you want to take your thumb and you're actually going to squish that out as much as you can. We want this nice and flat and fluffy or scruffy. Alrighty, then you've got a liner brush. And the liner brush actually is just a long, long tapered narrow brush that we're going to use for some fine detail. So that's basically it. You've got a flat, you've got a liner, and you've got a scruffy. Three brushes. The other thing you're going to need is, and this works out really well, is you're going to need a styrofoam plate. Now, also, this is part of the one-stroke family of tools, and this is the palette. Um, when you're doing a lot of painting, this is um, great as far as holding. Your thumb fits in there. It's a lot more stable. It has little wells that you can actually use for water. Um, there's also little holes on this that you can put your uh, loaded paint brushes on as well. And what's really neat about this is the styrofoam plate just snaps into it. So great, I love this. If you don't want to use that, you can just use the styrofoam plate. 